Hi, welcome to Auntie Nets Crochet. Thank you for choosing this tutorial video. Do check out my other videos too. If you don't mind, please do subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is at this corner of the uh, video. I have hundreds of videos from crochet to amigurumi, clothes to toys, hats to bags and lots more to come. So do check it out. And today I'm going to make a, a cardigan. Not a long one, maybe a medium size, not too short either. And so happen I have so many of this left over. <laughs> All this from my previous project, like this I only have a bit and uh, this is like half a row. You know. So I plan to make a cardigan with all this. It's like a multicolor cardigan. <laughs> Colorful cardigan. And I do not have any fixed uh, pattern like uh, how many stitches of red or how many stitches of pink or how many green. I just go along like uh, this is the balance I have and this is the number of green I could get. And for this uh, cardigan, I would need two types of hook. One is a 4mm hook and one is a 4.5mm hook. The 4mm hook is for the rib pattern at the bottom of the, at the edge and at the bottom and the sleeve part, you will need some rib uh, pattern. And for the top part, the middle part, I'm going to use a 4.5mm hook. This is for the mesh stitch uh, pattern. Okay, so let's, uh, and by the way, these are all cotton yarn. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start by making the back panel of the cardigan, the bottom part, work on my way up. So the bottom part is going to be the rib pattern. For the rib pattern, I'm going to use a 4mm hook. So you just grab a yarn, mine is cotton yarn, and you make a hook, I make a hook, sorry, you make a knot. This is just my habit of making a knot. And then you chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you chain 11. If you're not sure whether you have 11, you can count back the V shape. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Can you see the V shape? So, once you have 11 stitches, you go do the second stitch from the hook. This is the hook. This is the first stitch from the hook. This is the second stitch from the hook. So, you go do the second stitch from the hook. For this project, it doesn't really matter whether you're using uh, the bum side or the V-shaped side. It's okay. So I'm going to do single crochet until the very end. So you're going to have 10 single crochet, all in 10 single crochet. So after this 10 single crochet, you're going to chain 1 and you're going to turn the work. And again, you're going to do 10 single crochet but this time you're only going to do on the back loop. If you look at the V shape here, you have the front loop, this is the front loop, this is the back loop. So I'm just going to do it on the back loop. So single crochet only on the back loop. Since we have uh, 10 stitches on the first row, so you make sure every row you're going to have 10 stitches. Because sometimes the last stitch is quite hidden.
see like when you come to the end here many will not be sure like this is one stitch or two stitch so if you're not sure come back do you have 10 stitches two four six eight ten ten stitches so again chain one and work on the back loop so this is going to be the back panel you're going to measure against your body whether you want this to be a how how white is this going to be how white is your cardigan going to be so you keep on doing this and later i'll show you how you're going to measure just place it on your waist and see how big you want your cardigan to be and for this uh, for this dangling part here you can actually move it along here this is how you hide your tail move it up to the top here and when I crochet I just crochet it along you can even do it this way so leave it here and then when you crochet you bring it along so it's like here okay let me check if I have 10 2 4 6 oh wait it's like <laughs> 2 4 6 8 10 okay 10 single crochet so I'm gonna chain one turn my work and this time round I'm gonna hide this tail actually you can hide it way below just now but because if I hide it just now you might not be able to see how I do how I crochet on the back loop only so now with this I'm still gonna do single crochet on the back loop at this time I'm going to bring this along normally I'll try and bring the whole thing along and not cut anything so at least I feel it's more secure right it won't come off easily hide all of it so you continue to do this until you come to the length that you want So same thing, chain one, turn your work, and do single crochet, only on the back loop. And let me show you how to hide this some more. You can hide it at the side here. Or if this bit is just too tiny, you know, there's no way to hide it, you can just cut it off. It's too short to pull it over, so you just cut it. And later when we sew here, and when we crochet here, this part here, you will cover it up. So this is part of it, how it look like. So I'm going to make it. Uh, I should make around 80, 80 rows or 82 rows then I'll measure it against my body and see if that's the length I want okay I'm not I haven't reached the length that I want but I just want to show you how I'm gonna change color not just in case like let's say for example this is the end of my green color and I need to add up with another color I'll just continue to crochet Sorry, did I chain one? Okay, chain one, turn the work, single crochet on the back loop. So, since this is like this much left, so here instead of if you do not mind changing color midway like this or you want to have it at the end of the row that's up to you 
So when you have have it like this, instead of yarn over the green, I yarn over the orange. And at the same time, bring this along. So just in case, I just tie a knot on this two. Okay, just tie a simple knot and bring it along. On the back loop. Okay, just hurl it like this. Continue to crochet on the back loop, but bring this color along. Then make sure I have 10 stitches, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, chain 1, turn around and make sure you bring this along. Continue to bring it along until you can't see it anymore. Or until that tiny bit that you have nowhere to hide it, you just cut it away. This one you just pull a bit and once you straighten it, it will kind of hide inside. Continue to hide this color, whatever tail is left, just continue to hide it. So if you don't manage to hide most of it, you pull a bit. And once you pull this back, it will like go backwards. See, it will hide completely. And then I have this color. So I do not really mind that, you know, you can see some of the greens here. Right, some of the greens here. Because I want to make it like patches of colors here and there. So it's okay to see this. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Anyway, I want to use up all those colors. Since I have so many color that is like uh, a bit of green and a bit of... Uh, which I can't use for any other thing. I might as well make a cardigan, right? <laughs> so it's up to you if you <laughs> think that you do not want to make it as colorful as mine. Then you just follow this pattern with one color. Stick to one color. Because the pattern is the same. It's just the color. Whether you want to change color or not. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, now take a look at this because this is not an amigurumi. It's gonna be a cloth. And at this point of time, I wouldn't know whether this is the front or the back. So here I can see a bit of it. So I pull and cut it nicely, and you pull back. It will hide completely inside here. So now at least it looks more neat, right? And you won't see some. So this chucking out the side. Then same thing, you just chain one and continue until the point that you think you want to change color and you just change color. So I get back to you once I have the uh, length that I want. Yeah, I haven't come to the length that I want yet. I just want to show you there's another method of changing color I mean if you don't mind you place it like this you tie the you tie the orange to itself you tie a knot means the orange yarn you tie it 
to the orange yarn itself and then you tie a knot and this part here this red this red you go to the orange here and you tie a knot tie the red to the red you know tie a knot like this so you have one knot here and one knot here and you pull pull really tight it won't come off and now to cut away these extras cut as much as you can but now the setback is you have a tiny knot here and make sure when you crochet if you can hide the tiny knot inside now let's see if i manage to hide that knot <laughs> okay now chain one so at least now you have a you have a second option of how you're going to change color Okay, so when you reach here, be really careful. And let's take a look and see did it manage to hide the it's here. Not that visible. That tiny knot is still here. And you just push it back inside. So what do you think? You want to tie a knot? Or you want to do like this now? Hide the tail. When you tie a knot, chances of you getting this is very slim. Bits and, you know, bits of the other color. So let's see if I go to the next row. But when you crochet, you have to really make sure that when you yarn over you pull up the yarn where will the knot go where will that piece of knot hide will it pop up on top and be visible or will it hide somewhere inside there you are it looks pretty fine right so this is your second option so it's up to you how you're going to change color so again i'll get back to you when i have the actual length that i want okay i've come to the length that i want the length should be in a multiple of five and after you have a multiple of five the end you should plus two two more ropes okay multiple of five is because for the uh, mesh stitch you need five to make one mesh stitch so one mesh uh, mesh uh, stitch but by the time you reach here you need two more stitches to make that pillar kind of thing the double crochet to make it a complete mesh stitch okay so here i have uh, 80 rows so after i have 80 rows i plus two more rows so which means i have 82 rows how you're gonna count the row is you see that there's this hum here I, I won't count from this side I'll count from this side so this side can you see that there's a hum and a hum here is like flat then a hum right so the hum and the hum so this is two so two four six eight ten that's how I count I mean if this color is difficult to see maybe you can look at this color like two four six eight ten so by the time I reach here, I got 80. So I add two more rows. So now we're going to do single crochet all around. And uh, at the moment, I'm going to put a marker here. Just to remind myself that this would be the front. Because when I stitch this match stitch, I'm going to go through and fro, to and fro 
and this is going to be my friend because I work from here on starting from here on so in my case I mean if you do not want to change color you can just follow the pattern but now I want to change color so up to you when you want to change color so give me a minute let me change the color so when you want to change color you make sure you yarn over with the new color okay let me see you can yarn over with the new color or you can uh like i say tie a knot depending because this is the edge, the turning point, so I prefer to change color this way. So I just chain one, and go to the first stitch here and do a single crochet. So let me do a few of, a few single crochet to lock it first, so that this tail will run away. Okay, then I'll explain how many single stitches you should do. So I can cut the blue yarn now. So this tail, I'm going to crochet along and hide it. Okay, let me put this further down. Not you'll be interrupting. This is optional, you can just don't put this. So now what you're going to do is, you're going to do single crochet in every row. This row, I did one single crochet. This row, one single crochet. This row, one single crochet. So your single crochet is like here for this row it should be this stitch and for this row it should be this stitch here and you continue until the end and you make sure you have oops Make sure you have, uh, in my case, should be 82 stitches because I have 82 rows, so which means I should have 82 stitches all in. If the number is wrong, then the oops, this you have to be really careful so that it won't chuck out. Uh, okay, you can do that too. I mean, like you pull this first, okay, just pull. I know this will shrink. Will like kind of move in you pull it you do your oops here sorry you just single crochet until the max and you give this a pull and we will hide inside so now you can't see the stitch anymore Maybe I should do this again because the hole is kind of big. I pulled too tight. <laughs> Don't do like mine. I'm gonna open this and do again. So it should look like this, okay? So that you don't have that big hole here. So one row, one single crochet. So at, by the time you come to the end, you should have 82 single crochet in my case. Depending on how wide you want this. I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of the row. I'll come to the end of the row. I have uh, 82 stitches, exactly the same number of stitches as my rib pattern. And I forgot to mention just now, I've changed the hook to 4.5 mm. Previously on this uh, rib pattern here, this rib pattern I used 4 mm. Okay. So now for the top part here, the mesh pattern, I'm going to use 4.5. So this 4.5 mm, I started with this uh, single crochet. My single crochet, I changed color this way. Because if I'm to change, if I'm going to use the same color, because we, we're going to work to and fro. So when we work to and fro, your color will be this way, like one row of green and another row of purple and another row but I want a patch I want a patch of brown here and a patch of grey here so in order to have that effect I have to uh, cut my yarn this way so by the time my yarn comes here I go back to grey <coughs> then <coughs> excuse me and when I 
my yarn when I stitch up to here I'll change it back to purple and by the time it comes here I'll change it back to pink so here you kind of have a patch of pink a patch of purple so it's up to you I mean if you feel that it's too troublesome to change color this way you can just go this way horizontal so your color changes horizontally mine is as per patch okay now move on to the pattern for those who are not changing color so I've reached the end of the row I'm gonna chain three one two three so after I chain three I'm gonna turn the work <coughs> This chain 3 will act as my double crochet and after this double crochet I'm going to do a um, oops, sorry after this double crochet I'm going to do a link double crochet the next one will be a link double crochet now how do you do a link double crochet you see there's a chain 3 here you go to the second stitch this is the first stitch this is the second stitch go to the second stitch just take this strand here just take this strand here yarn over leave it on your hook go to the next stitch you yarn over so you have three on your hook and you do and you yarn over two by two just like a double crochet so this is called a link double crochet so after this link double crochet I'm going to do chain three one two three one two three you yarn over we're gonna do a normal double crochet so here we took two stitches so we're gonna skip three one two three oh sorry I did this wrongly it should not be on the same stitch it should be on the next stitch if not by the end it will get all wrong <laughs> So you see this chain 3, this space here, this first space here belongs to this, it's, it's considered a double crochet for this, this double crochet. So now I go to the second stitch, I pull up a yarn, I go to the next stitch, this is considered taken by this. So this is 1, this is 2, so this is the second one. And I'm going to do a double crochet. Oops. Okay, be careful of this. Let me do that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> because it's a five ply yarn. And sometimes I only grab four and it will chuck up. Okay, let me do that again. Sorry. And go to the second stitch. go to the next stitch you put through two put through two and you chain three one two three and you do a double crochet you skip three one two three you go to the fourth one and do a double crochet just a normal double crochet so after this double crochet you put your hook here this part here pull up a yarn go to the next stitch pull up another yarn and then you put through two put through two this is where you're gonna get your link double crochet so you do one double crochet one link double crochet and in between you skip three here you chain three so you see one two three four five this makes one mesh stitch right so it's a multiple of five 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 but if this is a multiple of five it won't be a complete mesh stitch so that's why it's multiple of five plus two so you plus this two this is one complete mesh stitch so again let me show you a few more one two three chain three skip three one two three go to the fourth one do a normal double crochet so after the normal double crochet 
you go to this line here this line here pull up the yarn go to the next stitch and put through two put through two then you have your link double crochet one two three yarn over one two three and do a link double crochet so this is how it's gonna look like so you continue until the end of the row you should have a complete set because it's a multiple of five plus two i'll come back to you once i'm at the end of the row okay i've reached the uh, end of the row this is the last uh, mesh stitch one two three skip three double crochet and a link double crochet you chain one turn your work right on top of this double crochet you do one single crochet and on top of this double crochet do one single crochet and do three single crochet into this uh, space area this chain three space do three single crochet and again on top of this double crochet do one on top of the other double crochet do one and you do three over here in the space so you're gonna look like this so this complete one mesh stitch so you continue don't forget this is the back panel you do until the length that you want whether you're gonna be a short cardigan or a long cardigan so the number of rows is up to you so once we reach the number of rows we're gonna work on the uh, sleeve the sleeves and the front poles and the back poles the back piece is uh, all link there's no not much of a sewing the sewing is only on the side only on the side of the sleeves and the side of the this uh, cardigan for the shoulder and uh, the sleeve it's all together it's linked together so I'll come back to you once I reach the length that I want then we'll start to do the sleeve Okay, I'm at the end of the row, the single crochet. I'm at the end of the row. So I'll chain three. Turn my work. And again, just like this previous row, I'm going to start to do the boxes again. So you go to the second stitch. Yarn over. Go to the next stitch. Yarn over. Put through two. Put through two. And you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Do a double crochet. It gets easier now because, oops. It gets easier now because you just do it on top of this double crochet. And again, you do a link double crochet. So now you don't really have to count three and jump. You just go straight to the top of the previous mesh stitch the previous double crochet so you're gonna look like this so i'm gonna continue to to build these boxes so you can call it mesh stitch pattern okay i'll come back to you once i come to the length that i want okay i've come to the length that i want this is how it looked like so colorful <laughs> okay now once you reach the length that you want, this row, the last row, you uh, make sure you do not do the single crochet all around yet. Once you reach this end of the box here, chain 20 for the sleeve. So bear in mind, even though you have this height here, you still have the same height over here for the sleeve and the top part. So now, before I do single crochet 
one row I'm going to chain 20 uh, sorry I'm gonna chain 60 bear in mind 60 after 60 for the sleeve you still have to locate some part of this for the the rib part at the end of the sleeve so your sleeve will be just nice 60 stitches plus this so we're gonna chain 60 first and I'll come back to you once I have chained 60.